Hey guys, if you like second gen Camaros, stick around. Hey guys, welcome back. So today I came to visit my buddy Rob. Hey Rob. Hey Gary. Hey. How's thanks, it going? Thanks for having me over. You've got, it. well this is technically Donna's, your wife's car. Yes. And we have teased everybody a little bit with this car as we've run into you at different events in the city. But uh, you've done a lot of work to this thing. Show us what you've done here, Rob. This, so this is a 1980 Camaro Z28 350 four four speed, speed T-top power window car. Yes. Lots of options. So tell us what you've done. So many things have been changed here. Painted the flares body color. They were black at one time. Uh -huh. Put the stripe kit on it. And I have changed the front end to the black blackout that's supposed to be on it. This car is originally painted in 97. Changed from a factory red to a blue. Yeah, this was a, a factory red beige interior. Beige interior. And when you bought it, it was already this blue. Yes. Uh, when was the repaint done? 1997. 97, so it shows very well. Some of you guys may have, uh, you know, you may recognize this car. We've, we've run into Rob and Donna at different events. Uh, but there have been a lot of changes here. You can see the stripe kit. It is a legitimate Z28 car. Now Rob's got the proper decals on it. There was a lot of different things that the previous owner did. He had chromed out these uh, side vents uh, and probably back in the day was a cool thing, but yes. uh, it doesn't look so cool anymore. And I no. like the fact <laughs> that you, you've got them back body color. Yes. yes. One really cool thing that you've added here. Wow, look at this interior. Wow, beautiful silver interior now, Rob. So originally, like we were saying, it was a beige, beige interior. interior. Then the guy changed it out to kind of a gray tan cloth interior. Kind of a gray. Yeah. A gray cloth. Yeah. And you found a guy that had, uh, well, and a lot of this is all brand new. Yes, all uh, brand new interior. Except yeah. Door panels are used, but. I'm going to try to get closer here give everybody a good look this just so is so pretty you know black interior was kind of the go-to thing many years ago i can tell you from experience in my own car black interior is not that cool uh especially in hot summer days <laughs> exactly i don't like that much and now everybody's into different colors and that silver sure pops it's it's a nice contrast against this blue car uh, i don't know if the video is doing it any justice but Nice job. I like it. I'll well, get around to the back of the car here. So sure. there's also stripes on the back. Yeah. So this is a high option car. It's a T-top power window, 354 speed. Yes. Uh, what else can you tell me, Rob? Uh, the four speeds were only allowed in Canada. The car was built in Ohio, but it only the American, Canadians could buy the four speeds. If the Americans wanted to buy a four-speed, they had to buy it from a dealership in Canada. Oh, really? Yes. I didn't, I wasn't aware of that. No, I wasn't. Donna found that out, so. And there's those T-tops. One of my favorite things about the 80 specifically, this uh, rear-facing hood scoop, this is actually functional, so there's yes. a little door in the back of that deal. And it's solenoid operated, so when, it, when the car's right to the floor, basically full so throttle. You hit it, full throttle, it'll open up. Yeah. That's cool, and it's functional. It actually yeah. feeds cold air right into the uh, carburetor. Mr. Calvin fixed that. <laughs> oh, it, it, so it's working. Yep, yep. Could we look under the hood there, Rob? We can. That's the thing, heavy hood. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of chrome under the hood here. Again, this is from the previous guy. Were those, uh, are, did you change up the valve covers? Yeah, he had just plain chrome valve covers, oh, so I yeah. put those I ones on. I recognize that, I noticed yeah. that. Yeah. It's nice and clean and shiny under here, I like it. These cars were, you know, 79, I think, uh, GM experienced a huge increase in sales. And the 80, this, these were special. These were special cars. So this is Donna's, and uh, she had to have a four-speed car. That was that, that was, was gonna... her choice. Yep. 
Yeah. yeah. And you guys found this, and so you've been running around. You've been flogging this for about the last summer now. Yeah, we bought it at the end of April last year. Wow. I like it. I like what you've done, Rob. We've got to Thanks. show everybody what's going on in your garage. So some of you may recognize the 67 <laughs> Chevelle. This is a legit 138, 396, four-speed car. Uh, I've got lots of video on this car on the channel, uh, some in-car video. Uh, we've got some exhaust note. Uh, you guys, we got lots of audio and video on this. And man, you got a you got a super nice garage. Let's show everybody what's going on in the garage here. So I guess I should show everybody. We should start with that one right there. So there's your high school car. Rob's a yep. legit 67 guy, ladder bar, N50s on the back, Kragers, that's proper. So that was uh, your high school car back in the day? Yep, I built that one. Yeah. Technically, it was originally a 283 three on the tree car. <laughs> a 283 three on a tree, three on a tree originally? Yes. And what did it end up being? 350 four speed. 350 four speed car. With 488 gears. And there's the 67. There's a cool rendering from Garage Inc. So that's Donna's Camaro, the 80 Camaro we just looked at. And they make these little renderings in these banners. Uh, that one's cool. I like the way he did that. You got some cool stuff on the walls here, Rob. I want to get to the other side. You got some neat stuff over there as well. Obviously a Shifters member. Proud Shifters member. Saskatoon. Oh, these are actually, uh, these are new as well. This is uh, Owen Gencart made these. Uh, what does he call himself? This is it company is, or he's over the top over creations. The, over the top. Yeah. There's this card right there. Yeah. Oh, there we go. We'll give Owen a plug here. He's a really talented guy. We saw him at the Dragon's Car Show last spring making up uh, all kinds of neat, neat art. Very nice. Wow, you got lots. Uh, Rob's got a big garage here. One, two, three, four. We got two hoists <laughs> and four doors and four bays. There's another interesting picture I wanted to share here. So hopefully you, uh, the glare isn't uh, upsetting the image here, guys. Uh, there's a, a backdrop of the city of Saskatoon with Rob 67 right in front. That's also made by Grad Inc., is that correct? That is correct, yep. Wow, that, that is cool. The city all lit up in the background. Uh, the bridge in the background, that's a, that is a nice photo. Talented guys are at Garage Inc. Oh, you even got the big screen. Oh, yes. Yeah, nice shop. Nice shop, nice cars, Rob. Thank you very much for having that, me out. Oh, thank you for coming out. Yeah. Appreciate it. And doing Donna's car. You've uh, you've done lots of work this winter. I was surprised when I saw you shared some photos with me on Facebook and what you had going on. Wow, the car looks good. It looks proper with the stripes. And I, I'm really digging that silver interior. Yeah, it made a big difference. It I did. Like it. It's a different car. Yeah. Well, thanks again, bud. Appreciate no, it. Thank you for coming thanks. up. Thanks. Thanks for watching, everybody. Really appreciate it. Hit that like, share, and subscribe button, all that stuff. See you again.